What is going on, guys? We are playing Wild Hearts, the Electronic Arts game. This is the early access of the game. It's a trial version, and I suppose this game comes out on February 17th, but right now I'm just kind of looking at it. It kind of looks like a Monster Quest type game, but, you know, this is the opening of the game. I'm pursuing some type of lizard character and I'm, I guess I'm supposed to kill it or something you know single handed lunge there's your controls right there and I don't really normally play these type of games but you know I'm giving this a just a try this is a trial version now that I'm supposed to be pursuing an animal and it got away from me I don't know where it's at but let me see. Get on this bridge here. Maybe it's over here somewhere. I don't know. Let's see, and I guess this game, I know, I didn't read that much about it, but I know you're supposed to kill, you're supposed to fight like giant animals and stuff. Giant, you know, crazy monsters. Okay, so what is that? Is that, okay. This is some type of dead animal, basically, I think, so. Do I do something with this or not? No. It's just some crazy dead beast. Oh, there's what... I, I'm supposed to be looking for that thing right there. Let me see. Don't let it get away from me. I guess you probably got to sneak up on it, huh? Don't let it get too far, because it got away from me earlier. Let's see. Let's look at the controls here. How do I like sneak up? Oh, okay. I can go like this. There we go. I guess this is like how you kind of ease up to it. And I think it is kind of like Monster Quest. Dang, I can't. It's not super easy to catch these animals. But I'm supposed to be trying to catch that thing, basically. Seems like a good game. It definitely seems kind of like Monster Quest, for sure. But I could be wrong. I played the older Monster Quest, the newer one I never played. But let's see what we got here. Where did it go, man? I lost it, basically. Looks like I lost it. I don't know where the heck it went. But we gotta keep looking. Is that it? So R1 and X. Oh, you can climb rocks with that. Okay, so I, that animal I was chasing is not the animal that I was supposed to be going after. I guess these are it. So, okay, so R1. R1 and X. That's how you climb. I like the controls in this game. I will tell you that. I think I like this game. I mean, I really do. Oh, I'm still pursuing the Komodo. So I guess I was pursuing that animal. So it must be up here somewhere. Because they instructed me to climb up here. Which means... Oh, there it is. Dang. I think it's not easy. So I guess I am still looking for that thing. It looked like it went this way. But it probably went that way. It says pursue it. Should I chase it? 
Because it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to sneak up on it. Looks like every time I get anywhere near it, it just pretty much just takes off. Even if I try to like sneak up on it. So, did it go this way? Don't know where it's at. Okay. Maybe I can get on this bridge here. Next time I see it, I'm just going to take off running and try to catch it. No? Not over here? Okay. What I... Okay. I don't think I need to go back. I hate when I play a game and then I play another game and I'm so used to the controls from the other game so I keep that's basically what I'm what I was doing here I don't know where that thing is at either man you gotta find it yourself I don't see any type of indicator that shows where it's at so you're kinda on your own those type of games are very time consuming you gotta be very patient because I've played games where I'd spend a lot of time trying to figure one thing out and I just never figured it out. So eventually I just don't play it anymore. Because I'm not going to play too, too long, you know. I think... Oh, R1. I was trying to run. Oh, am I back where I started? going on here man oh I guess I gotta I don't even is this where I was at before because I can tell you right now you gotta really pay attention to what you're doing in this game because I have no idea where that thing went and now I feel like oh my gosh it's probably easy to catch you probably just got to hurry up and go after it right when you see it. And I didn't do that. So now I got to consume all this time trying to find this darn thing. i tell you what, man. So basically, I started over. I started the game over because I lost that character that I was trying to find. Let me figure out where that thing is at. Where the heck is it? There it is. Let's chase it. It doesn't look like it's faster than me. So I gotta pursue it basically. Keep running from me. Oh my gosh, man. I hope it's not too far away from me. There it is. Did it go up there? There it is. Hold on. Hold on. Hold 
there we go. So we did it. We accomplished the first mission. Let's see what the cinema has for us. So is this like my HQ or something? Like, is this like my find the source of the music? Okay, I have the music turned off for this video because, you know, you know why that is. You can't really use music in these games. You'll get in trouble, but let's see here. I don't know if they're literally talking about music or not, but okay. There's something right over there. Let's see what it is. So apparently that's later on or something, right? This game is definitely, in some ways, I'm still looking for the source of music, okay. This thing is definitely, this game is definitely similar to Monster Quest in a way. In its own way, it's obviously not like a like the same thing but it's I mean it's similar to me I, I feel like it is you have this character who who is basically okay that's where I came from over there you have this character that's hunting down beasts and killing them basically but I'm sure the storyline and dialogue and stuff is very different but it's definitely a similar game I would say It says follow the source of the music. I'm sure the closer you get to it, the louder the music is. I don't have the music turned on, but if I turn it on, you know, you know how that is when it comes to these games. That's an issue sometimes, depending on what type of music it is. But I, you know, I'm not good at knowing what music you can use and what you can't use. So this is oh I got somebody here okay let's see who this is let's talk to him. You come from afar, do you not? <laughs> Perhaps fate has had a hand in our paths crossing here. Let us talk a while. So, a visitor in the land of the east. You do realize asthma is fraught with danger. Mountains and rivers, the source of their great power. Land shaped to their will. Yes, I speak of kimono. Rampant in these parts. Few humans remain. Driven from what is now kimono territory for Lack of sustenance. <laughs> Listen to me preaching to Buddha. For one look at you speaks volumes. The gauntlets that back your hands. The blade at your side. You are no stranger to Kimono. You derive from an ancient clan. One that made Kimono its business. You are a hunter, huh? So it's one of those games where you have options what to say? Yes. The epitome of the hunter creed you are. And what am I, you ask? 
Simple musician, of course. My name is... Muzina. Shall we say? What were you just playing? You know what a musician? Why the mask? I want to know why this? the mask. This is my visage. Underneath, there is nothing. And everything. Not a sight for the faint-hearted. Still, <laughs> we are here to talk not of me, but of you. I wish to know every detail. From whence did you arrive in this land? From the western capital, from the northern province, from the continent of Komodo Trail, across the sea from the south. Uh, this may affect the storyline, I'm not sure. I'll go ahead and say across the sea from the south. Truly. Not even sure what that means, but whatever. Waves abound in the southern ocean. No ship can cross, so I hear. Sadly, the days of hunters being revered in Hinomoto are long gone. To the west, samurai battle not kimono, but each other. Hunters facing hunger these days are many. Some have turned their hands to farming, others to thieving. I was getting hard to earn. Oh, it was getting hard to earn a living where I'm from. There's no place for me in the civilized world. War calls for soldiers and hunters. I was always a drifter. Let's see. I was always, always a drifter. Born a drifter then? Hmm? Come now. You have lived with others. Worked with others. Shown as a fine hunter among others. So this game has... So you leave your home and travel to Azuma by yourself. Yet pursue a life as a hunter still. Why? What compels you to hunt? I don't want kimonos driving humans out. There's money in rare kimono. I'm always looking for a stronger kimono. The desire to answer that question for myself. You hunt for riches. How elegantly simple. But the more you seek wealth, the more you will find jeopardy. A corpse needs no coin. Perhaps the wise would seek enlightenment over gold. Ha! Forgive me. With age, a curious compulsion to counsel comes. Well, it is clear to me now. You have a strong will. And where there is a will, there is a way. This game requires a lot of patience, I'll tell you that. I usually don't like the long, long dragged out dialogues. I kind of want to skip them, but sometimes you need to see what you're doing. Time to stew. I will disturb you no more. You have a hunger to satisfy. All right, thank you. Remove hat, okay. So my character's gonna remove the hat. Is there a customization? Okay, there's a <clears throat> customization in this game. So here we go. So it looks like you do create your character. I'm going to make the creation of this game a separate video.